Hey everybody, I'm Kyle from Urban Farmstead, and today I'm going to show you how I built this really simple and affordable storage shelf for our garage. I'll start by measuring and marking the wall behind my shelves and locating the wall studs. This is a custom shelf, so the dimensions are based on my specific needs like holding my storage bins, still being able to open this door, and eventually hanging 80 inch sliding doors from the top rail. Next I cut all of my 8 foot 2x4s down to the size that I need. I've included these and all of the other measurements for this project down below. But chances are, you won't be using these same dimensions for your project. So let's just call these 8 foot 2x4s. Next, I partially constructed all four shelves by attaching 21 inch cross braces to both ends and the center of each 8 foot 2x4 using 2.5 inch screws. The finished depth of these shelves is 24 inches, so if you need a different shelf depth for your project, the length of these cross braces is where you'll make that adjustment. I used 3 inch screws to attach all four shelves to the wall studs. Shelves should be attached to each wall stud that they pass. Longer shelves could end up holding more weight than shorter shelves, so they might need that extra support. I'll finish framing each shelf with an 8 foot 2x4. I built this top shelf an inch and a half shorter than the others, because eventually I'll tie in here and extend it the entire length of the wall. For an 8 foot tall shelf, there's no need to cut these final supports but I've trimmed mine down to 82 inches, which will leave me just enough space to eventually hang my sliding doors. If your shelves are 24 inches deep, all you'll need to do is rip two 4x8 sheets right down the center. I'm using half inch particle board for my shelf decking, but you might choose to use OSB, plywood, metal, whatever you want, as long as it's strong enough to support whatever it is you choose to put on these shelves. The only thing left to do now is just tack down these boards with some inch and a half screws. Of course I could have just grabbed my ladder, but these shelves are sturdy, so why not give them a climb? Well that's it for this phase of my project, but this is only about one third of my wall space. So in my next phase, I'll build a spot for my workbench, an area for germinating all of my vegetable seedlings indoors, and then a rack for all my garden tool storage. And eventually, I'll put sliding doors and tracks all along the front of these shelves to conceal everything. So if you want to see those videos and more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.